Hi everyone. Welcome to Speed Dating with Learning Technologies. My name is Maggie Frederick and today we're going to be talking about Zoom. So what is Zoom? Zoom is an online video conferencing tool with video, audio, and screen sharing for both the host and the participants. This tool aids in collaboration and is very user friendly, so not much expertise is needed. With Zoom, you can join anywhere. You can also join Zoom on any device, such as a laptop, mobile device, or an iPad. Here are some of Zoom's features. You can share your screen with participants to perhaps show something in more detail. There is also a whiteboard option for participants. Chat is another feature that, you, that can be used to keep participants engaged. You have the option to record your meeting locally to your device or to the cloud. So maybe for instance, some participants couldn't attend your meeting. You have the option to record the meeting for them to view at a later time. Breakout rooms are another great feature in Zoom. With breakout rooms, you can break your participants up into smaller groups. So let's say you had a large group of participants meeting together and you wanted to break them down. You could do this with breakout rooms. So in this image, for instance, you can see there's two breakout rooms with three participants each. You can tell which ones are active based on the green dot. And you can also see which ones haven't joined. But it's just a nice space for our participants to have smaller discussions. In addition to having the Zoom application installed on a device, you can also integrate it with Canvas. You have the option to set up reoccurring meetings or meetings on the fly. Some instructors like to use it for office hours. Zoom can also be integrated with Kaltura, which is a media streaming platform. So let's say you recorded a meeting via Zoom. You can then take that meeting and upload it into a Kaltura media player for students to watch there. Zoom is a great tool for creating an online presence, not only between the instructor and students, but also among students. It can help students put a face to their fellow classmates and get to know one another better. Zoom is a useful tool for building student engagement. It's great for increasing collaboration and engagement in online courses. It gives students the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face even if they're in different locations. Here is an example of students participating in an online video discussion via Zoom. So in one of Dutton's online energy and sustainability policy courses, students were broken up into groups of three or four and assigned a topic to research. They then came together to discuss this topic. So in this video, student, four students are discussing the topic of sea level rise. And you can see the way Zoom works is that it focuses in on the person as they start talking. Um, so I guess we're talking about sea level rise. Mm -hmm. yes. Yep. Very cool. Awesome. There was so much information on the internet about this. I couldn't even pick just one, you know, <laughs> reliable source. There were so many. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, you know, you have like a lot of like what's contributing to sea level rise, but then, you know, you see all the stuff around like how it's impacting um, insurance markets and like real estate, um, which I think is pretty interesting, like how it's affecting a lot of people um, and like their insurance rates. So instead of, for instance, using a text-based discussion in Canvas, this may be a, an opportunity to engage students more by meeting face-to-face. So if you want to learn more about Zoom, there's a website at Penn State, psu.zoom.us, where you can also install the application. There's a Zoom overview on sites. There are also some training videos for faculty and staff on Dutton's faculty development website. And there's also a website where you can learn more about the Zoom and Calcutta integration. Thank you very much for listening today. I hope you learned something new about Zoom.